सब्सक्राइब कीजिए हमारे यूट्यूब चैनल बींग स्टेनोग्राफर को और बेल आइकन को दबाएं लेटेस्ट वीडियो की जानकारी के लिए एक्सरसाइज 17 फ्रॉम प्रोग्रेसिव मैगजीन डिक्टेशन स्पीड 100 वर्ड्स पर मिनट स्टार्ट सर जस्ट ए फ्यू ब्रीफ कमेंट्स एट द वेरी आउटसेट एंड देन आई विल बी रिप्लाइंग टू द इश्यूज raised by the honorable members in the course of debate itself sir this is one of the most significant tax reforms in india in recent history this reforms itself has been debated within the political and economic system of india for the last almost over 15 years the government had in the last decade itself appointed a task force headed by dr kelkar which had in 2003 first mooted this idea of a uniform goods and services tax in india based on the vat principle this was considered by the government and it was first put into public domain through the parliament in the year 2006 when it was referred to in the bazan budget speech of the then finance minister a tentative date that it could be implemented and rolled out by 2010 was also indicated at that stage discussion paper on it was released in november 2009 there was a joint group of officers between the center and the states which was formed in order to do a lot of technical coordination and a formal constitutional amendment was introduced along with the budget in the year 2011 itself there were two parallel tracks on which discussion on this went on the first was that the government had created an empowered committee of the state finance ministers which considered the draft which also interacted with the union government and this empowered government sorry committee of the state finance ministers from time to time had been suggesting several changes as far as the goods and services tax proposals were concerned simultaneously this was also referred to the standing committee of the ministry of finance which in august 2013 submitted a report the report was also sent to the empowered committee and again in november 2013 some suggestions were made by the empowered committee which were duly incorporated by the government at that time the revised bill finally was ready some time towards the early 2014 but it lapsed on account of the dissolution of the lok sabha itself in december 2014 after the change of the government the cabinet again approved the amendments this was preceded by a series of discussions between the government and the members of the empowered committee and the future proceeded one of the contentious issues was to bring on board several states which had reservations now reservations were boldly boldly of two categories some states felt that the power to impose tax within the state or subjects in the state list were within their domain and therefore this was their exclusive jurisdiction some manufacturing states felt that since this was intended to be based on the destination principle and the consuming states would benefit more hence there would be a loss suffered by the manufacturing states themselves they wanted an adequate mechanism for their own compensation 
most of the states were brought on board and the December 2014 amendments were on the basis of that consensus which had been reached at that stage. That bill was appro approved by the empowered committee was also approved by the Lok Sabha in 2015. When it came before this honorable house, it was then referred to a select committee. The select committee made certain suggestions, some of which have been incorporated. Thereafter, the government considered it absolutely necessary to build a larger consensus. The need for a larger consensus proposals was to change the taxation structure as far as the country was concerned. Today, within the domain of the union government and the states, there are, of, there are different categories of taxes which are imposed. There were all intended to be subsumed sub, sub, sum, into the goods and service tax. Now, for some of those who felt that this was surrendering their sovereignty, this was in fact pu pulling in of sovereignty of the states at the center so that we could have a system which was a far better and a more modern conducive system which would help the assesses which would raise larger revenues and eventually give a boost to the Indian economy itself. The merits of the system itself are that it would convert into convert India into one uniform economic market with a uniform tax rate bring about a seamless transfer of goods and service across the country enable us to check evasion and therefore enlarge the revenue as far as the center and the states are concerned. This should also be equitable in as much as the consuming states would also be benefited as far as the economy is concerned. Many economists and analysts believe that this would also give a boost as far as the growth rates in the country are concerned. It was therefore extremely important that before a bill of this kind which brings about a major change is considered there there is a political consensus built up to the extent that it is possible that shall benefit the all.